MVPs every year have gone, every time they put a record out, they get bigger than the previous record. So, you know, Will has always wanted to um, step up his production. When we came out with the end tour. The music was performing so well, on, you know, on the radio. And um, we kind of felt like it was time to really step up the production and and, uh, and build something that we've never built before and tour something that we've never toured before, you know. I believe there's 190. There's 190 uh, people on the, on the tour. 46 of them belong to us. 46, yeah, 46 is on the, the, the management, tour management side. The artists and so, band and dancers. And the rest are the production people that that actually have to come in early for load-in and build it every day. We're 24 trucks, and we have 117 crew on the road with us, and we have about 90 stagehands every day, local stagehands that help us set it up. Our day, is a long day every day. We wake up, you put on your baseball hat, brush your teeth, and you go to work. Without exaggeration, we're in here at 6.30 in the morning, and we leave the building at 2.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's a 20-hour day for most of us every day. And the caterers load in at 6 a.m. We start marking the floor at 7 a.m. We load in at 8 a.m. We pick up the dressing rooms and the offices. On a work day, I get four hours of sleep, which isn't very much. I'm 45 years old, and I feel 100. Peter is one of our carpenters. He sets up this behemoth every day. Um, he's been with us since we started. He's fantastic. This is our barricade. It may seem like a minor deal, but it takes up a full truck. It's, we have 240 feet of this. It's a lot of barricade to be running around the country with. It's all aluminum. So basically, we're done in about seven hours. Now it's just cleanup time. You know, a lot of the crew will go back to the buses and take a little nap for two to three hours. And uh, some of us are just, you know, having fun or working. So it's, it's a busy day. My name is uh, Jake Brown. I work with uh, Latitude 45. And, uh, we do the tour catering for the Black Eyed Peas, uh, cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner for uh, the crews, the people who help build the stage. And uh, we feed about 150 to 180 people a meal, sometimes 200 for uh, dinner. And, um, we just travel with the band and uh, take care of all their needs, do their dressing room stock and uh, food in their rooms and stage drinks and bus stock, take care of all the buses. We have 15 tour buses we travel with and 22 semis we take care of. So it's, uh, it's a big ordeal, big, big ordeal. So this is where all the magic happens. Every day we set all this up, start producing the food. We just come up with something. On the bus at night, Wes goes shopping to a, a local grocery store. He buys a bunch of food for the whole day and then we just come back and start cooking lunch and then I have to put it out and then cook dinner, put it out. Do like a lot of, you know, certain areas like Maryland, you have crab and stuff like that. And you know, Seattle, you go for more seafood and things. So it depends on where you are. Kansas City, you have ribs, you know, it's basic stuff. We start off our morning about 5 a.m., uh, about 6 a.m. load in. We set up our dishes every day. Every day we carry all the stuff. Everything comes in road cases, you know. This just goes in here. We got our own fridge. All we need is power, water, and space. Everything's all electric, so all you gotta just plug it in and go. These are our chefs. Right now, the, the boys have chickens in their dressing room, and Gray just seasoned them up and cooked them, and uh, right now I'm about ready to go put them in the room. So we work as a team, you know? We, they do one part, I do the other. Yeah, we just kind of just work together. It takes six, we have six people who travel with us uh, on our crew, and uh, it takes six of us all to work together to do all of it. 
Me, I love to eat. Yeah, yeah, I love to eat. That's why I do this job. I mean, come on. It's, it's beautiful. And I love to travel. It's awesome. Usually I start at 7 in the morning. We walk around. We pick the rooms. Mr. Tim Miller tells us, um, you know, where we're going to put things. And I try to give my say, you know, and agree with him ultimately <laughs> where we should put everybody. We have, um, there's, you know, the peas. We've got two principal rooms. There's also the band, the dancers. This is um, Fergie's room, by the way, which is BP2. But don't tell anybody. It's a secret. You come on in. She's very easy. She doesn't really have a whole a lot of stuff. Um, there's, you know, some fruits. I try to put some candles, which I like light last minute to, you know, make the place a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, so this is the boys' room. Here's our little segways they used to get around. But, um, yeah, this is Will's little system here, complete with his um, PlayStation 3. Um, and then back here is some more stuff. You notice they're, they're very healthy, like a lot of fruits and vegetables and their juicer, blender, Nice. So basically at the top of the show tonight, Tim will have the band and the dancers and the principals, everyone will be outside. There's an X we got out on the floor. They gather there, they do their little uh, prayer and meeting and stuff. And then he'll call house lights and they'll bring them under here. I'll be waiting under here with all the carpenters and everything. So this is the underworld. This is where we start the show from. So house lights go off, which I'm running under here. Um, and down here are what we call the Michael Jackson lifts. So they're the only lifts that run they can go slow, uh, do a slow rise as an elevator lift and as a toaster, as a pop-up lift, because they call them a toaster because you pop up like a piece of toast. So the peas will actually get three to four feet in the air off the surface of the stage. You know, they jump up when the things are rising and they're really, really high in the air, and they're kind of competitive over to see who can go the highest. Yeah, He's yeah. got the new one. I got the new... Um, Spin, mid spin in the air. What? Jump up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's got the twist. It goes like this. Twist. Oh, I start backwards, right? I'm like, and when it pops up, I go. Oh, boom, man. yeah. So they'll all go up on their cues. Apple goes up first, and it's followed by Taboo, then Fergie, and then Will. And then the show starts. Let's get it started. So then, uh, during the course of the show, there's lots of wardrobe changes that go on. I can take a minute to tell you, this is the Tate Tower stage. Everything under here is by Tate. It's really, really cool. It's really high tech. But you notice that you can walk through here because of the new legs and the magnet system and everything. So that allows us to walk through here and to keep all of these wide amounts of space open. Like this is the quick change for the dancer's room. And you notice how big it is. Fergie will do her first couple quick changes at the, uh, for the show up here in this dressing room. She has an upstairs and a downstairs, and so does Will's. This is Will's quick change upstairs. This is Will I Am's downstage changing area. This is the scene of many, many rushed moments when we're changing clothes, getting ready for our cues.